Tonight, a Bradenton company is fighting the fentanyl crisis with these. They seem like typical wipes, but they're being used right now to detect deadly drugs. 10 Tampa Bay's Han Denis visited the company's Sarasota lab today. She shares how they could eventually be used to protect you. I simply tear the package open, I pull out the wipe, and then I wipe the suspected area. If the wipe detects fentanyl on that surface, voila. You can see the change in it right away. See the color change? It's called color metric technology. Trace ID also makes wipes which detect cocaine and methamphetamine. You don't need a machine to read it. Uh, it's very simple. Barry Gorski, the product's inventor, maintains it's simpler, faster, and safer than the established method which requires collecting a sample and breaking a glass ampule. The glass from the ample uh, punches the plastic. Their tests contain hydrochloric acid and other deadly chemicals. And now these guys are getting pricked with this, plus whatever chemical they put in there. The Palmetto Police Department has been field testing Trace ID's wipes since January. The results from the new Trace ID kits have matched the established kits. 100%. That effectiveness and the simplicity of the design have led Chief Scott Tyler to further invest in them. I actually think the wipes are a little bit more versatile. Trace ID founder Chris Baden says more area agencies are poised to test his product, a point of pride for the grandson of a former Manatee County Sheriff. It's a laudable mission. It is. Um, it's something that absolutely will uh, have a positive impact on the safety of first responders. In Sarasota, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. Trace ID has plans to sell his products one day in drugstores. Right now, Live Tampa Bay says the overdose rate in the Tampa Bay area is 10% higher than the rest of the state. 10 investigates took a deeper dive into the issues surrounding opioid use in our special overdose. You can watch all of our stories streaming right now on the 10 Tampa Bay YouTube channel.